So hi friends, this is Amit and you are watching my channel Information in Educational Video. Here I am going to provide you the marks versus percentile versus CRL and that is general rank. This video is very important for general student particularly. I have uploaded the video for OBC, SC, ST. Everything you will get in the i button as well in the description box. You will get the link for other videos as well. So let's get started with the video. Before that, let me inform you that I will inform you about the NIT, IIIT, GFTI cutoff information also that is minimum a score to get the top NIT, lower NIT, top IIIT, GFTI everything I will discuss at the last of this video. So please try to watch the video up to the last. So here is the information if you are targeting 99.5 percentile then your marks should be 208 and the important thing is that these marks are for moderate paper and first attempt. If the paper will be hard or easy the marks will change accordingly. That is 5 to 7 marks increment or decrement you can expect and the important thing is that this is for first attempt. For second attempt obviously the competition will increase. So I will inform you about that in the upcoming days. And the rank at 99.5 percentile will be 4.7 thousand. I am considering around 9.5 lakh a student because after combining both attempts, if you go for first time only, it will be only 7 to 8 lakh a student or 8.5 lakh. But after combining both sessions, there will be around 9, 10 lakh a student. Also last year, 10 plus lakh a student was there. So this year I'm expecting because except previous year that is 2023, actually this year only. But we are talking about 2024. That's why I'm telling previous year means 2023, there was 10 plus lakh a student. But in earlier year, it was only 9 lakh, 9.5 lakh like this. So I'm considering 9.5 lakh. So for 99, 9.5 thousand rank and marks requirement is 175. For 98.5, 14.3 thousand rank and mark requirement will be 160. For 98, 19 thousand rank and marks 150. For 97, 28.5 thousand rank and uh, marks requirement is 135. For 96, 38 thousand rank and marks will be 125. That is requirement mark. That is required mark and for 95, 115 marks and the rank will be 47.5 thousand. 93, it is 66.5 thousand, not 47 thousand. It is typing mistake and the mark requirement for that is 100. Now, if you talk about 90, the rank will be around 95 thousand and marks requirement is 84. For 85 percentile, 74 marks is required and rank will be around 1.4 lakh. For 80, 60, 60 marks is required and rank will be around 1.9 lakh. For 70, 42 uh, marks is required and rank will be around 2.7 lakh and below this I am not considering because you also know after 3 lakh rank what you will get nothing. So uh, until unless you are from home a state of any college or you try for home a state level engineering colleges there you will get I will inform you about that later but up to this you can hope for something in the NIT triple IT GFTI. So now if you talk about for uh, cutoff percentile that is for general student what will be the cutoff percentile for the uh, for the J advance that is to qualify for J advance and what is the mark requirement 90 to 91 percentile will be the cutoff for pure general not EWS for EWS I have already uploaded the video and the mark requirement for that will be 77 to 89 depending on the type of paper it will vary so I have provided a range of marks. If the paper will be hard, it will be around 75, 77 or 78. If the paper will be easy, it will be 85, 87, can be 90 also if the paper will be very easy. For moderate, it can expect around 83, 84 marks. Now, if you talk about the complete uh, information regarding the NIT, IIIT, GFTI cutoff, before that, let me inform you about my complete guidance and mentorship. In the next section, you will check it. So hi friends, here I will explain you about my complete mentorship and guidance program as I am providing it from last 5-6 years, over 10,000 students already have guided who are studying in top IIT, NIT, IIIT, private college of India. So if you want, you can enroll in my complete mentorship and guidance program for any type of entrance exam if you are doing for engineering. Each day I will be providing to you the daily basis mentorship how you need to study because each, each entrance exam you need to prepare differently so if your goal is JEE means advanced I will be focusing on that if your goal is all type of entrance exam I will be covering in that way so that you will have the good score in all type of entrance exam so that later you will decide which type of college you need to join if you have got the information regarding my mentorship now let me consider the an IT cut of 99.6 percentile and 95.6 percentile for CSC and lower branch in the top 5 an IT of India. This is for male student, other state. If you are from home state or female student, you will get a little bit more benefit. You can deduct a little bit a score from here. Now, if you talk about for triple IT 98.4, 97.3, here you will say why for lower a lower branch in triple IT more marks as compared to NIT because in triple IT lower branch means EC. In NIT lower branch means material science mining engineering 
mechanical engineering like this branch are there that are less demandable as compared to EC that's why for GFTI 97.4 95 percentile is required it is for CSC and after slash it is for lower branch means anyhow you want to get into the top 5 and it is triple IT GFTI now if you talk about for top 10 99.1 94.5 that is for NIT for triple IT 97.6 96.4 uh, that is for uh, CSE and EC for GFTI 95.5 93 that is for CSE and lower for top 50 98.8 94.1 that is for NIT for triple IT 96.6 95.9 for GFTI 94.4 92 for top 20 98 94 for NIT triple IT 96 95 for GFTI 93.8 91 and for lower 96.5 93.4 that is any type of NIT if you want with CSE 96.5 percentile you need to have I am providing you percentile because this, this will remain fixed for first and second attempt you can get the percentile in the first attempt at less marks in the second attempt you need to score a little bit more because competition will increase but you need to achieve this percentile anyhow in first attempt or second attempt no matter but you need to achieve it then only you are going to get the college whatever I am discussing here. So now if you talk about for triple IT 95.4 94.7 for GFA 92.5 90.5 so these are the percentile that you need to have minimum in order to get those colleges whatever I have discussed college wise and that is an IT triple IT wise GFA wise I will provide the information in the upcoming days so please try to subscribe the channel thank you.